Good day, I'm Adam, and this is Ghost Decoders. So I ran across an article from VentureBeat that says, according to hacker rate data, JavaScript has now become the number one most popular programming language. Let's dig into this. Seventy-one thousand developers were surveyed from more than a hundred countries. The results are in line with sort of what I was thinking, but honestly, I was surprised. Number one is JavaScript, which had a decent jump from 2017. Honestly, it blows my mind a little bit that JavaScript is now to a point where it has taken over Java. If you would have told me that 10 years ago, I would have had a hard time believing it. And here we are in 2019, with JavaScript being the most known programming language, the most popular programming language in the world. Now, we have to remember this is a survey of a subset, but it's a pretty large survey, so I think it's pretty accurate. But number two is Java, and it actually had a small drop from 2017. And it makes me wonder, is some of that from the rise in Kotlin? I don't know, Kotlin didn't make a big showing on the chart, so maybe not. But either way, Java isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It is just too embedded in everything that we build on a day-to-day -day basis. Servers, back-end systems, uh, Android development, all driven by, by Java. Next up at number three is C. C had a slight drop, probably somewhat insignificant based on the chart from the previous year, but it still like is worth pointing out that for C to be number three after all these years, for how long C has been, that's pretty incredible. Next up at number four is Python, which jumped even more than JavaScript did from 2017. It's gaining ground so quickly, and I think a lot of this is from the drive for machine learning and AI that has just really taken off. Data science is going to become a, a role that every company has before long, and data scientists, I believe, in my opinion, are moving to Python based on my experience, especially when they're dealing with um, machine learning specific algorithms. Now, coming in next at number five is a language that I loved so much for so many years, and that is C++. I worked with this language almost exclusively from 2005 to 2012. C++ looks like it made basically no movements at all. And honestly, I think C++ is holding strong because game development still uses it almost exclusively. Sure, there are scripting languages for engines like Unity, where you can use C Sharp, but really, underneath Unity, there's a lot of C code and a lot of C++ code. And I have written C++ for many years in the game industry. And I cannot see that language going anywhere. And in fact, I don't think there is even a language on the horizon that is starting to take over that in the core game development field. Unreal Engine 3, Unreal Engine 4, rather, is the perfect example of that. Go look at the source code for that. Now, the next three actually really surprised me. PHP came in at number six and had a big jump from the previous year. I honestly would have expected it to be a steady growth or no growth at all. I'm a bit disconnected from the PHP world, and I would love to understand why PHP has such a massive jump in popularity over the last year. And maybe it's because of WordPress, maybe it's because of something else that I don't even know about. But let me know in the comments below, I'd love to know. C Sharp came in at number seven and had a small jump in usage, but still slightly behind PHP, which I would have never guessed, to be honest with you. I would have thought C-sharp was above uh, PHP in usage. But when I think back and I really digest it, and you think about how many websites are running WordPress, I'm wondering if the number of people that voted that they know PHP or use PHP just use, like, small pieces of it and aren't really building, like, full-scale systems out of it. TypeScript came in at number eight, and it had a massive jump in usage and probably will continue to do so in next years. I actually would not be surprised if next year TypeScript isn't above PHP. But I could be completely off here, and PHP may continue growing, and TypeScript can keep up with that. But to me, TypeScript is, should be moving above PHP in the next couple of years. To round out the list of other big surprises uh, that I had, Pascal came in at number nine, and I did not realize that it was as widely used as what it still is. This is a language that um, I haven't used for years, and I want to think back, it's probably been 17 years since I've actually seen it 
in any sort of production environment. In fact, it actually made a slight gain, a very slight gain from the previous year, and that just blew my mind. Number 10 is Ruby, which actually dropped in usage from the survey. That doesn't surprise me as much, because Ruby's been kind of falling out of favor, but I will say that a lot of the colleges that I've worked with recently are starting to teach Ruby and use Ruby as a language, so we'll see what ends up happening there. I do know startups were really jumping into the Ruby environment, and that's been less so, at least in my experience over the last year. The remaining languages in order are R, Perl, Go, Swift, Scala, Kotlin, Pascal, Lua, Clojure, Rust, Erlang, and OCaml, which is O-C-A-M-L. Never have heard of OCaml. I've heard about all the other languages. I've used most of them, but OCaml, I have no idea. I'd love to know what that language is used for, or if you've used that language in the comments below. The survey is, of course, limited to the developers that were asked, but I do think it's a fair, fairly accurate um, understanding and view of what developers know today. How many of these languages do you know? And for those of you just getting into programming, I think starting with the first two languages on that chart might be the right option there. Uh, it's the language that if you look for job postings, you're going to see them at the top. Java, you can't go wrong because it translates so well to so many other languages. And JavaScript is the language of the web with what I truly believe TypeScript being not that far behind it. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know if this list surprises you at all. And if you would subscribe, that would mean the world to me. Till next time, everyone, keep coding.